Hi everyone, this is my first haul video, so I hope I'm doing it right, <laughs> if there's a right and wrong way to do it. Um, I got a package of goodies, I'm trying not to block the light here, um, and I wanted to share and show you what I got. Um, this is from a couple of places. Um, I'm trying this new service uh, for people outside the US and it's like a company that is called My US and basically you get like a mailbox there and you can have your things delivered to their uh, like storage space which is in Florida and they offer this service well, they offer a few services, but uh, what I did is I ordered from a few places, got the free shipping that um, like you can get with many places uh, in the U.S. And then they package the whole thing together and ship it in one shipment. And they find the cheapest um, um, price for international shipping. They work with uh, DHL and FedEx and I don't know, maybe something else. Um, it's not necessarily uh, as cheap as you can get uh, with the, I think the US priority mail or something, um, which is not that expensive, but not all stores offer it. And there's no one store that carries everything that I want. Um, so I'm trying it out. It's only the first time it worked okay. Um, we'll see. Maybe maybe I'll try it again. It's nice because I just got the free shipping and I ordered from a few places so I didn't have to pay uh, international shipping for each one. Um, yeah. Okay. Sorry about all the rambling. Uh, I'll start with the product. This is... Ugh, let's see. Um, we are memory keepers and this collection is called Inked Rose and I like this side but I got this paper for this side and I think this is like a great background um, and if some of you want to create this look but you don't like to get messy or you don't have mists or you're not sure if it'll uh, turn out nicely then, you know, they have these papers. This is quite common now. I think many companies make this type, but this is nice because it's kind of subtle. So you could still, it's not like a very busy background, at least not um, like for me. This is from my mind's eye from the necessities collection. And this is just like, I also like using this type of paper as a background or, you know, you can cut it and then use this um, like just as a third of the page. This is one-sided. Uh, from the Necessities collection, My Mind's Eye, they have all these like mini themes, like color themes or whatever. This is from the Teals and it's called Confetti and it's vellum and it's foiled and it's fabulous. This is from the Black and Gray, again Confetti. This is like silver foil. The name of like the little collection is black and gray. And it's also vellum. Again, vellum. This is from the metallic. It's called dot and it's gold vellum. This I could have probably 10 in my stash and find something to do with it. They work with so many things. Another piece of vellum. This is gorgeous, just gorgeous. It's called triangle. This is from Chic Tags, Chic Tags, and it's called Let's Go World Traveler. This is very, very yellow. Like this gold, I have to say, is not, this is like a beautiful gold. This is kind of, yeah, I'm not sure. We shall see about this. I'm not sure about this. From Chic Tags. Cloud Nine, lovely, and I just love this color. It's like this, you know, fuchsia, I guess. 
And the other side is a great basic. Hello glittery goodness. This is from Teresa Collins. And this side is beautiful. This glitter does come off, which is a bit annoying. The other side is also great, uh, very nice. There's like this faded script in the background and these beautiful um, like muted beige colors. But I'll probably be using the bling. Who am I kidding? Uh, again, Teresa Collins. This is beautiful. It's The background is a slightly different color. Like this is kind of, yeah, just darker, like a light, light brown or something. And this is off-white. I don't think it's pure white. Um, this is just beautiful. And this side is also very, I mean, very versatile, but this is my, my thing. Uh, Teresa Collins, Urban Market. And this shade of blue is interesting. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, this looks like wallpaper to me, um, which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> but I got it for this side because I really love to use this type of patterns as backgrounds. And another nice basic. I really liked the script. Again, Teresa Collins. And this is again from the My Mind, Ma, the We Are Memory Keepers inked, inked rose collection. And the other side is these really cute frames that you could cut out and they're really, really fun. But I'll probably be using this. And a few more from that collection. I mean, look at these colors. Oh, it's just so me. I just love it. And I like making these type of papers myself, like playing with watercolors, but, you know, the paper buckles when you use them. And it takes time. So this is like really beautiful and fun and quick and flat. Um, so you get the look of watercolor without actually having to watercolor. Um, yeah. The other sides are the frames one I showed and these are like really great neutrals so I really love how they combined like all these you know bright watercolor um, textures and then the neutrals Let's move these out of the way um, this is Webster's pages a sweet routine from Adrian Lumen I hope I'm saying her name correctly. This side, I just love it. You know, it's like has this ombre um, dots and it's just great as a background, as a layer. Um, I love these type of papers and I find them really easy to use. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Again here, everything is turned. This is so, so pretty. This is Alison Kreft for Echo Park. The collection is called Capture Life, and this, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. The other side is also really fun. I actually, you know, I saw this and like a raven for bokeh effects. I didn't even look at the other side, and I should have ordered two, because this has really fun elements. You can cut out this card. It also has like this bokeh effect, but there are like such great images here. I mean, I love these frames and this little strip. So, but this is just so pretty and I love it because it's not completely gray. It has like this very faded color, you know, like someone played with the Photoshop saturation and made it almost uh, like black and white or gray, but it has like this slight hints of color. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of paper. Um, I should have gotten more, like I didn't get enough. Uh, from Capture Life, again, this is really fun, um, but I love, I love this as a background. I don't know, every paper I bought is like for background, what am I going to put on it? Probably one of the hundred million embellishments that I got. It's not going to be a problem. So this is really, really fun. Again, you know, this uh, chalkboard trend, and I do have chalkboard paint, of course, um, but this is just a really fun, fast, 
flat way with no buckling or warping or anything um, way to get this look. I'm talking so much I'll probably have to cut this video into two parts. Okay, this gorgeousness is the same paper. I had to get two because this is so beautiful. Oh, I'm so glittery. And this is so beautiful. So what to do, what to do, get two. Capture Life, Alison Craft, Echo Park. Well done, well done. The Scraptastic June kit has some stuff from this collection, so I'm really happy about it because it's really beautiful and I only got a couple of things. Oh, this is just, I think, my favorite paper in a while. And again, Capture Life. Hello, Boca Prettiness. Um, it's just beautiful. This side is so not me. And this is just gorgeous, gorgeous. More vellum. I love vellum and now everyone is coming out with vellum, which makes me very, very happy. Um, because I could use it on every layout. So I'm really glad to have so many options. This is from uh, We Are Memory Keepers and it's called Sheer Metallic Gold Dot. Hi! Could this be prettier? I don't think so. This is Webster's Pages, Andrian Lumen. And the other side is also fun because it's like a diagonal and the stripes are like a photo of glitter. So it's really nice. And this is just, I really love this. I think this would look great. You know, this could be a really interesting background. Also, I can see myself adding maybe a bit of gesso, but also to cut out these things and either use them as layers or make like a grid design, you know, even cut out this and use this like as a element of the page. It's just, it's so beautiful. And I think these images are so rich, you know, unlike just pattern paper, they they have so much interest in them. I, I just love it. I love it. Another beautiful paper from Webster's Pages. As you can see, it's bokeh all over the place. And yeah, this is just beautiful. Ah, hello, pretty vellum. Let me see if I have something I can, wait, use so you can see this better. I got three because one is not enough and two is not enough. But this is just, I mean, I just love it. And, you know, to use it on pattern paper, I mean, it just, it's like so interesting how this looks. I just love the texture that you get with the vellum and this, um, the fact that, you know, it's transparent, but just a little bit. I just love it. I love it. It's gorgeous. It's like these flowers here. It's just beautiful. It's like different images from this paper. Wait, wait, I'm going to get it from this. It's like here, there are like all these added um, bokeh effects. And this one is just the uh, photos with these filter treatments. And it's just gorgeous. So I had to get three of those. Now this, I was really excited when I saw it. This is from Cosmo Cricket. And it's called Velumptuous. And it's 18 pages of specialty and glitter designer papers. Uh, 18 pages. And it's just vellum. And it has the most gorgeous patterns. So I'll just flip fast through it so you can see what you get. Maybe I'll use the white paper again because sometimes you see the pattern under it with the vellum. But I mean, look at this, it's just gorgeous. And you can do so much with this. Use it as a 12 by 12. Cut it down. This is glitter. And this, I think, this is not coming off. And little hearts in gold. Ha! It's just gorgeous. And little diamonds. And look at this. 
I mean, they just did such a great job here, I think, Cosmo Cricket. I don't know, they're not, you know, putting out their regular paper lines and embellishments and stuff. So they have all kinds of, like, special things now. Um, but they have these packages, and there's, I think, also one with tissue paper, and then I think one with craft, uh, which for someone who likes craft would be, I think, a great purchase. Wait, I'll try also to go on and not just talk, talk, talk without showing you this. But look at this. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I think one package... Everything I got was on sale. Everything was at least 20% off. Um, there were all kinds of sales for um, National Scrapbooking Day. So I think the full price for this is $15, I think. And so it was like 12 or something, and you get 18 sheets. Um, so that's not bad. I think for someone who loves vellum, this is just an ombre, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Uh, I think for someone who likes vellum and likes these colors, you know, and for me, it's it's like made for me. Um, it has the gold, the pink, and some neutrals. Uh, you can have a lot of fun. Oh, this is definitely one of my favorites. I mean, look at that. It's just like candy. Gorgeous. And it fades into the um, edges here. Almost done. This is also just gorgeous. And some stars. Yeah, and this was the last one. Okay, and then of course some more papers. I have the 6x6 paper pad from the Lemon Lush. If you follow my channel, you know I love this pad and I have made very good use with it. I am down to I don't know, I guess less than 10 papers, and this has 36. So I only had like one um, 12 by 12 page, like paper from this collection, and I just loved it so much I thought I would get a few more. Um, I'm really not that big of a fan of this, but this is gorgeous. And this is oh, perfection. I love the colors. This shade of pink is gorgeous and I got it mostly for this side because I think it's just a beautiful piece of paper but I'm starting to really be a fan of this lime green I'm not a huge fan of green at all and I certainly don't scrapbook with it a lot but this is great and which reminds me that I also picked up the Heidi Swap Citron and I've already used it on a layout that I'm working on now that hopefully will be up soon but this is such a great color it's just great let me see if I have the um, like the swatch that I made I don't know if you can see but it's a very good match and of course this is the color shine Heidi Swap sprays are very very shimmery so this is really a really great color if you like lime green you should get this. Okay, so this is from the Wanderlust collection from Studio Calico, and I just love this paper. This is also really fun, but I got this as a background. It's like a mantra that I keep repeating. I wonder if I'll ever cut into any of those. Oh, I got two of these. Yes, because they were so pretty. Um, again, from the Sweet Routine Webster's Pages. I thought this was a really fun page to cut out, because I can't see myself using the whole thing. But actually, I'm really liking this side, because it also has this nice, like, bright, bright, bright green. So this could also be fun to use. Uh, but I really like these, um, like, retro camera motifs in pink with flowers on them. and like a ribbon. It's just great. Again, Webster's Pages. I thought this would be a great background. Yes, you heard me. Background. The other side is, I like this floral, um, but this is the type of paper that I always struggle using. So it's going to be this one. And I think with some spray, like splatters, it's going to look great. 
and a couple of papers I picked up from the Basic Gray Highline collection, uh, which is really fun. I'm thinking maybe at some point I'll pick up the 6x6 pad. Um, it has really, really beautiful colors that I love. I bought this paper for this side. I thought this would be like a great, it's just a beautiful paper. I really love their design. And again, this is just beautiful. I really love the colors and the whole thing. They made it very nice. This is okay, but this is beautiful. Let's see how long this video is. Oh, it's pretty long. Okay, I think it'll be two videos then. So I'll see you in part two.